Okay, here's a quick look at the bracket I built that mounts the Optica Digital Slide Duplicator to my Canon SLR. The problem I was having without the bracket is that this barrel would move quite a bit laterally and up, you know, side to side and up and down, and that would cause the captured image to move around inside the uh, viewable area, and that made it difficult to quickly crop all of the images the same because the image would shift relative to the uh, relative to the uh, frame of the camera. So I had 12 or 1500 pictures I wanted to get through in an afternoon so I whipped this up. And basically it just rigidly mounts this aluminum uh, adapter tube to the lens and it keeps it all nice and square so that the pictures are in the same place every time and then you can use a program like IR Fan Viewer to uh, batch process them you know a couple hundred at a time and it works very well that way. Um, additionally I I didn't like this plastic magazine. Um, you're expected to slide the slides into into here and these ones actually fit not too bad but uh, many of the slides I had had the plastic frames on them. They were difficult to get in and even more difficult to get out. Um, additionally, there's some movement uh, within this apparatus as well. So to get rid of all that, I fashioned this wooden base and this uh, wood and foam part I built here. And that basically just is the perfect size for a slide as well as I've embedded a push button here so that when you press on the uh, edge of the slide it triggers the shutter as well as a push button over here and that's just wired to the shutter release uh, you know, 16th inch barrel connector common on most cameras put that back in there and you can see so that's that and so then to slide or rather uh, scan slides, all I do is I'd aim this uh, this whole camera with the ETTL flash there, uh, aim that at some white poster board or at a white wall and just press on the top corner. Now, this is difficult to do left-handed but the way I do it basically is uh, just set it up facing away from me, take my uh, slide I wanted scanned put it in there and just spread my fingers top and bottom so that they're not in the way and then just press press on the top corner and as fast as you can pop those in you know I, I actually don't have any slides here to show you but um, as fast as you can pop those through there you get those uh, images saved to your your uh, SD card or compact flash whatever you're shooting with and uh, then send them off to IRFan View for processing, and it worked really slick. So I'll probably be putting this up on eBay as I'm done with it now, but I hope that gives you some ideas for either modifying something for your own use, or if you're checking out my eBay auction, that's how it works. Obviously, the auction will not include the camera or the lens, it's just the base and the uh, the slide duplicator and, and the other uh, modifications I made to it here. This, this is just friction fit on here. With a lot of friction actually. So there's the original tube. You can see the bolt holes where this was originally bolted on. All the original hardware is included obviously. But uh, yeah, there you go. Enjoy.